nervous. I'm shaking because I've seen elk. It ain't cold. That's <laughs> my blood is pumping. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely on this one. If it's not, it's on state land. Yeah, they're kind of all over the place, small herds, but we've seen a bunch of groups of cows. And by groups, I mean like solo cows. Cow here, cow there. But I think it's the time of year that you see cows, eventually you'll find a bull. This guy is something else, huh? Alright, here's what it looks like. We got three big coolers hoping to fill full of meat. A couple of mountain boxes full of gear. Gear in the back seat. Headed to elk camp. Found one cow down here and found two cows right up here. That's so, more than last week. I know, it's like we don't have a bull to hunt. I didn't even know you'd done that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a bull to hunt tomorrow morning, but they're they're elk around. Yeah, we stopped for like 10 minutes down here. Did you hear anything? Listening, nothing. Nothing? Mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe in the morning, like we get up early before the sun comes up and we drive and listen. Yeah. And if not, we go up high and we... Hey. We hit. Just below center. I just hope we find some bulls. I just want to hear one sing. That's what I'm here for. I want the, I ain't about to kill. That's just extra. I want to hear it. I want to hear the whole shooting match. I'm ready. Then me and my kids were trying to add back how many years it's been since I put a bowl in my hand. So this is pretty exciting. I call it. See. We get any response. Everybody blow a cow call up. 
Here's the uh, first morning of our archery elk hunt. It's kind of done. We popped up on this hill early, kind of up on that that nipple right there. We got up there early and started glassing. Picked up a cow pretty much straight away, and then didn't see a whole lot later. Thomas found another herd of elk. There were six cows in that herd, but they were pretty far onto the the private property out there that we don't have access to. Chase went up on top of that hill. He and uh, he and Jeff are up there. They heard a, bu a bull bugle this morning, and then they saw that we know of at least three bulls. Uh, so we're gonna head back to camp. I got some stuff we gotta take care of back at camp, and then we'll we'll get back out there this afternoon. But that was kind of the morning, uneventful. Chase came down this morning uh, after glassing from the top and he, they watched three bulls feed down into this wash. So we're just gonna, we just climbed up here. Pretty shitty climb getting up, but we just climbed up here and we're gonna see if we can get eyes on them. And try to figure it out because they did cross into private. So we're gonna have to pull them out of private with a call of some sort, if, even if we do find them, but we gotta find them first. How'd you shoot? Right. But, okay. Right, but I okay. can't beat Chase. He's nuts. Well, it's midday on our first day of the elk hunt. And so far this morning we found six bulls. They were all pretty far out. And they were by themselves or with other bulls. So no rut action, no bugles. But we are finding elk. Got a few clouds. Sun's a little warm, but uh, hopeful for the evening. Maybe we've got one solo cow out here, so maybe if she comes in heat, we'll get all the bulls to come in. Okay. Big bull. Fixing to go get on an elk. We spotted one, we're going to him. But pretty rough road. I hope we can uh, put a stalk on him. He's coming down, looks like to the bottom, and we're trying to close the distance to get on oh. foot. There are one, two, three, four, five cows and a five point bull. He's big one. All right, we're gonna go up, and get closer.
sky isn't draining on us. So it sounds like uh, Chase and Jeff got narrow in the bowl. Hopefully they, hopefully they get that. We tried to get in on this bowl that we found a little bit ago. And it's just in a spot that's hard to, it's gonna be hard to approach him. He's got five or six cows with him. And all those eyes are gonna be looking right at us. So there's no way to get behind him into the trees where there's any kind of cover. So we're just gonna watch him until dark and hopefully we can find him in the morning. He's, uh, he's acting pretty ruddy. So hopefully he'll be bugling in the morning. We'll be able to get in there and, uh, and actually hunt him. That'll be nice, but definitely see an elk, nothing big. My standards have changed a little bit. So this is a five point bull, kind of a rat cornish. Five point, he's gonna get narrow. Good job, Uncle Jeff. Thank you, buddy. Love you. Love you. It's through the cedars and I thought, oh my God, he's right there. Yeah. I didn't even range him. Yeah, I heard him before I saw him. I put the, uh, put the second pin on him. Good young bull. Yes, sir. We got a we got a bull. We got meat coming off. Taking a quick little breather because we forgot our headlamps. Got the phone light. But the boys are coming to help us pack him out of here. If you're not carrying half an elk out. Alright, I'll see you guys at the truck. There's trucking holes. Nope. Okay. trees it's somewhere in the four o'clock hour leaving just a little early and uh, hopefully gonna hear some bugles this morning um, Jay and Tom are going after a bull they saw yesterday evening hopefully they can get close to that one I had a few cows with it and Uncle Jeff we got his bull out around midnight last night or got to bed around midnight last night and he's sticking around with the the boys to take care of his elk this morning so 
on a few hours of sleep and a lot of caffeine, we're gonna go try to find a bugling bull. We got in where we thought that where we left that bull last night early, I think before before the sun came up and couldn't find him. And then bugled a couple times, just trying to locate him and he didn't answer. So we were in an area where we couldn't really see anything except for one hillside where that bull was. So we decided to back out and get back to the the tall knob where we found him yesterday. Got up here, saw nothing, and uh, got a call from Chase and Kyle on the radio that they've been watching that bull basically where we left him this morning for an hour and a half. So now we are headed back to where we were, to where we left the bull because he was there the whole time and we just didn't see him. Canyon's over. We're gonna get above him here and get, try to get within, I don't know, 100 or so yards and blow a cow call and see if he'll come in. See if he'll leave the cows to come around up and up. So we got all day long, so we're just gonna take it easy get up this hill. Once we get on top, we're gonna go real quiet. Oh, I see him running up the hill. Yeah, they winded us. Yep, I see him up there. Well, it is 11 o'clock, Saturday morning, day two of the hunt, and Jay got close to that bull, but the wind changed and they bumped out of there. Fortunately, they ran right beneath Kyle and I and we watched them to where we think they're gonna bed in there. It got kind of thick and uh, we'll go back after them this evening, or we'll, Jay will, and we'll see see if the wind cooperates this evening. So, back to camp for lunch. What'd you find, Jeff? Nothing. I'm waiting for a spot right now. If it moves, it'd be an elk. If it don't move, it's a shadow. Is it bedded? Nope. Bedded elk shadow.
evening of day two. Looked over some really good country and have not seen an animal. Not an elk, not a deer, not a bear, not a coyote, nothing. So, packing it up, gonna head back to camp, make a good supper, some bratwurst, <laughs> make good. a plan for the morning.